Football can sometimes get a hard deal. So for me, it's brought amazing people into my life, incredible experiences, but it's shaped me and made me a stronger, more resilient person. Parkin taught me be the best you can be and apply yourself. But I went to Sydney and Ruzi was the coach and the, the Swans were about feedback and honesty and equality. And then when I went to the Saints, it was about everything was a must-win game, we've got to win, and it just imploded and I was stuffing it up. But our thing was to share everything, wasn't yeah, it? Like, yeah. if there was ever a problem, we'd be, here it is, Yeah. let's talk about it. Anyone got anything to say on that? Then let's all just move on and focus on yeah. what we did pretty well, which is train hard and compete and have your teammates back, really. I felt like the way I was going to get a game was to be that player where my teammates relied on me. Well, we spoke about complementary team. Yeah. It's where you're strong and they're weak, you help them and yeah. vice versa. And that, that's what a complementary team yeah. is. So that's what great teammates do. Because exactly. footy grounds can be lonely places. Together, mm. we, the experiences that we've shared together, knowing that we've put it all out there, we haven't got out to the grand final day and, and kind of not rocked up. And so this is where the heart beats today. The MCG for the grand final of 2010. It defines careers. Can a lion become a legend today? He will if they win. Probably didn't start as well as we wanted to. Yeah. Um, but that, and they were kicking him from everywhere. No, Dale Thomas hit his it. shin <laughs> from the boundary. It goes for the spiral. Well, it's untidy, and I think it's good. Yeah, that was a worrying sign. Like when that happened from the junction, he's just, yeah. I, I'm like, oh, here we go. I remember Rui got the ball picked up and span and kicked it. Rebound fashions out of kick. It's bouncing. It was bouncing, and Maxwell was chasing it. You see it. And it was about about, then it on the line, it just stopped and went up, and Maxwell got the touch. Maxwell leapt on the grenade on the goal line. Scores are level. It's a game of inches, yeah. isn't it? You know, But that feeling when the siren went, I was. It was bizarre, well, it's, wasn't it? It's, it's, it's I felt hard sick. To, I think it was a lot easier 09 to 10 than it was after the second one. Yeah, yeah. I think it was very harder to get yourself Emotional, back to, yeah. like, yeah. we've got to do that again. We're a really close group, aren't we? And some people criticise, oh, they have a reunion. We, it's not a reunion. We're a really close group that respects each other and comes together. Because there has been some occasions since we've all separated yeah. where some people have needed some help and that group gets together pretty quick for support. Yeah, you yeah. Know, so there, there's genuine care. Yeah. But ultimately, you know, if our football is about a cup, but yeah. our relationships run a lot deeper and, yeah. and mean more than a point or two goals either way. And that's not just dismissing the disappointment. No. Right? And that's the beauty of footy. Whether it's been a good or a bad moment, you can't let it define you. You've got to get after the next moment. Good evening. The St Kilda Football Club has been rocked by the shock departure of coach Ross Lyon. They'd already been speaking to you before they'd even spoken to me. Yeah. During the year, they'd reached out to my management to understand where you where my contract was at. And I was like, I'm playing, I'm finally playing. You know, I'm cemented myself yes. into the team. You know, I'm not going anywhere. Then I think I'd gone away on holidays, come back, and I woke up one morning and you'd gone. <laughs> <laughs> I walked in the Fremantle with really clear yeah, vision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was no, it was black and white. It was like it was a proven recipe. You knew what you're walking in with. It was more, how can you get the, the buy-in? And I had no idea that spoken to you. A lot, I think the story goes that you left. Oh, I want. I'm, yeah, take my, yeah. I'll take my pick. I said, I'll, not Zach. <laughs> take I my said, pick. No. <laughs> and I was like, people was like, oh yeah, you, right. You love Ross's love child. child. You followed him over to free. I was like. It's yeah. crazy stuff. And really, Fremantle for both of us was... It was the best thing I ever... Yeah, it was very... Changed my yeah. life. That unbelievable group too. And uh, two unbelievable groups. So. Dawson deprives him. They've done it. The best team all year. I have no regrets. I just feel for the one of Premiership with their and your neck and rewalls, but are they lesser players or lesser people? No. Going back to Pav's performance on that day. He's a very special game. player, Pav. Oh, yeah. I was having a conversation probably last week about best leaders I played with, and they were the like Pav and Rui, in terms of what they take on as a captain, and the way that they present, the way that they kind of can motivate. It's a very hard job. They're two almost the greatest players I've coached, and they're my least maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Looking back, you know, how the game has really shaped me as a person. I think at times footy has been such a stress and anxiety on my life, but 
I think being able to deal with those, those stresses and being able to deal with the setbacks, be big enough to move through that, um, has really given me belief in everything I do today, as being a dad, as being a husband. And you can't buy that confidence. We no. talk, it's come from action, yeah. what you've delivered. Yeah. Well, the game stress tested you, yeah. hasn't it? It's pretty much. In so many ways. Yeah. Whatever life throws at me now. You'll cope with. Yeah. It's, a, it's a snack, as you would call it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a snack. <laughs> and to your credit, you just sort of soaked up the environment and, and dug in, and we got more than we bargained for. You, you over delivered. And bang for buck was probably yeah, exceptional for both clubs. The impact that you have on the way I see the world, the way I, I view feedback, the way I, I seek out help is because of you. The biggest example of, of that is probably how my parents talk about you. And they know how much you've shaped my life and, and kind of changed the course of my life. That reflection on you is, is more important to me, is the fact that they can see that. Which is really, like, yeah. it's emotional to hear yeah. because I feel as a coach, players give more than we give. Mm. But those connections with family are really quite special as a coach yeah. and to hear that. But it just ramps under responsibility. Yeah, People that's right. within the game and coaches have. I'll always be indebted to the game. I can never give enough back to the game to, to what it's given me. But there's times it's made me cry, times it's made me angry. Any criticism from the press and that, I, I don't need that to validate me because there's enough within all those experiences that I do feel good about myself and, yeah. and what the game has brought to my life. Yeah. Yeah.